Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Grace Note. And today I want to talk to you about when you feel cringeworthy when people ask you what you do. So many of the clients that I work with struggle with this one because a lot of them are in transition. You know, they're, they're not entirely sure what it is that they're doing in the world yet. And for a lot of people, this can cause concern. You know, um, in some cases, you might feel like you have to justify where you are in your life. In other cases, you may feel that, you know, you need to make up something flashy or important or make it look like you're moving forward. When underneath it all, the place you're in perhaps is a place of unknown a place where you don't really know what it is you do. And you might be someone who today feels shame about that or feels like it's taking too long or feels like you've been in this no man's land forever. And so when someone asks you, you know, well, what is it you do? Uh, you might find yourself experiencing those feelings of discomfort and not enough. And so I want this grace note to really help you today because I've seen a few things around that question. You know, what do you do? And here's how it looks to me. It looks to me like people very innocently ask us that question out of habit. <laughs> You know, especially in the, in the Western world, we're so caught up and obsessed with defining each other and putting each other in a little box where we get to understand in, through our intellect where you are and how we can understand you. So you might notice that some of your conversations are quite boring and lack connection because of it. You know, um, where do you come from? Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, are you having a nice time? What do you do? And what I've noticed over time is that these, questions, these sort of questions lack intimacy. They lack any sort of possibility for deep connection. They're just blanket questions. And you might find that you come up with blanket answers, like, I'm fine. How are you? Rather than getting into, well, actually, I'm not doing great because my sister is experiencing this and my cat died and, you know, I'm, I'm not, I don't know what I'm up to in my life. We kind of innocently give blanket answers to these blanket questions. So the first thing I want you to notice is that this question, what do you do? It's not personal, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think if you're feeling insecure about your role in life or where you are at this time or your position, you may take that question as having more meaning than it actually does. When in reality, people are just doing their best to connect on a very, in a very narrow way. So I just want you to notice that as a first pointer, you know, notice any sort of feeling cringeworthy or taking it personal or trying to make up a better version of yourself than you currently feel you are. Just notice that the next time someone asks you, what do you do? And as I said to my clients, you know, the best answer is always the truth, which, which generally tends to be, I don't really know at the minute. You know, I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm I'm, I'm dedicated to enjoying my life wherever I end up. And that does two things. It's not a technique, it's not a strategy. It's just a, it's an honest answer, number one. People feel from you the honesty of not knowing. And what I find happens is then they get curious. They get way more curious in this 
in this unknown place you're in than making up a blanket statement. Now, if you want to avoid any sort of connection or intimacy or going deeper with people, you know, stick to your blanket answer if you want to. But if you really would like to stop feeling cringeworthy and to start feeling connected and, and, and not judged for not knowing, you don't, you don't know, but, but you're dedicated to enjoying your life wherever you end up. And, you know, for, for, for so many people, they're, they're living life in the rat race, they're living life on the treadmill. So to meet someone who's, who is totally comfortable with taking time to figure out and explore and move to their next step and role in life, it's very interesting to humans. It's very enticing. I remember being at this event last year and there was this one guy there and you know it was a very uh it was in england and it was a very natural question you know well you know what's your name and how what what are you doing here and what do you do for a living and and he he didn't he wasn't up to anything in the world and he kind of and he was totally okay with it and I could see that the, the group was more and more intrigued, you know, like they were more and more intrigued with, how, you know, what, how did he get here? Like, where does he make his money? How has he ended up? Because I think humans are naturally curious, actually, as to how we each live, okay? How we make a living and how we get to live. I think that humans are just interested in that. But... You want to see that your discomfort around really not knowing what you're up to in the world is blocking a beautiful connection with another human being who is that perfect, flashy, big scenario of a career? And, and who actually gets the chance to then ask a better question to you and for you to get curious about them. Now, I know this sounds like strategy and technique. It's really not. It's just, it's here to help those of you that feel you have to justify your lack of knowing or your current role or where you are in life at the moment. You know, I have a lovely client who she's already retired at 49 and people are always asking her, well, what do you do now? Like, what do you, what do you do? And she actually can feel guilty about saying I'm retired. She, she feels she has to make something up, even though she spent, you know, quarter of her, her lifetime dedicating and working hard in her career and and is where she is today because she did that so these feelings of guilt these feelings of shame these feelings of needing to justify where you are in life these are just letting you know you're in your insecurity about your role in this world and I encourage you to look at the beauty of being out of the system or out of the rat race or out of whatever it was you were in and in this place of unknown. And let this place of unknown guide you actions with human beings by simply showing up as you not knowing what you do and being comfortable with that. So if I can help you, please get in touch. My speciality is all around supporting you in really having a career 
that you love and a life that you enjoy. And for those of you that are struggling in your current career or coaching business, helping you fall back in love with that. So I'm, I'm here to help you in that area. And you can get in touch with me on gracefulcoaching.net forward slash speak with grace. And we'll take it from there. In the meantime, subscribe to my YouTube channel below and leave me a comment if you like. Let me know what you're hearing in this one. Lots of love. Ciao.